Something terrifying was found beneath the desert sands. Scientists are shocked. Hey there, friends from all over the world. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, we'd be honored to have you subscribe and like the video. So, you've heard of the desert, right? It's not just endless sand. It's actually a real treasure trove for researchers. Over the centuries, this desert has swallowed entire armies as if they were nothing but grains of sand. But here's what's truly mind-blowing. Recent discoveries beneath the sand dunes have left scientists speechless. So what exactly did they find that has the scientific world gasping in amazement? In this video, we'll uncover the hidden treasures and secrets of this massive sandy giant, things that could completely change how we understand history and nature. Let's dive in and see what's really out there. The Eye of the Sahara Back in 1965, astronauts aboard the Gemini 4 spacecraft spotted something incredible from space. A huge ring-shaped structure about 31 miles wide. Scientists estimate it to be billions of years old, but its origin is still a mystery. It's known as the Eye of the Sahara, and there are many theories about how it formed. Some say it was caused by a meteor strike, but there's no impact crater or evidence of a collision. Others think it might be volcanic, but its shape doesn't match typical volcanic structures. The most accepted theory is that it formed through erosion, a slow, natural wearing down of the Earth's surface. But even now, the true origin of this strange formation remains unknown, keeping researchers curious and intrigued. Lost Fortresses of the Garamantes Thanks to advanced satellite imaging, Scientists have been able to uncover parts of the desert that are, honestly, impossible to reach by foot. In 2010, they identified more than 100 ancient forts built by the Garamantes, a civilization that lived in Libya from the 2nd century BC to the 7th century AD. These structures were actually revealed during oil exploration, and archaeologists used satellite images to study the layout and features of the buildings. Unfortunately, political instability after the fall of Muammar Gaddafi halted many expeditions. Still, the evidence confirmed the structures belonged to the Garamantes, who built an underground canal system to survive extreme drought when the water ran out, the sands buried their fields and cities. The Giants of Gobero Paleontologist Paul Sereno was the first to talk about a mysterious race of ancient giants after discovering fossilized remains in Gobero. Around 10,000 years ago, the Sahara was actually full of water and wildlife. A people called the Kifians settled near a large lake, living off the rich ecosystem. Reconstructions show that the Kifians were tall and muscular, averaging over six and a half feet in height. But around 8,000 years ago, their culture vanished, likely due to another major drought that hit Africa. The Star Watchers of Nabta Playa between 4000 and 6000 BC, another advanced civilization existed in Nabta, deep in the desert. These people somehow linked the movement of stars with their agricultural activities. Archaeologists discovered a megalithic structure there, built over 1000 years before Stonehenge, that aligns with the Orion constellation, showing their advanced understanding of astronomy. One of the desert's strangest treasures is Libyan desert glass a rare yellow-green glass found scattered across the Sahara. It's incredibly clear and has a unique composition, even appearing in unexpected places like solid sand dunes, which are called Bartians. Pieces of this mysterious glass have even been found in tombs, most famously in King Tutankhamun's tomb, where a scarab beetle in his chest ornament was carved from it. But where did this glass come from? Two main theories exist. A meteor impact caused the sand to melt into glass, or powerful lightning strikes created it during electrical storms. The second theory seems more likely, given the Sahara's massive size and extreme temperature fluctuations that could trigger strong electrical discharges. Scientists have also discovered that ancient rivers once flowed through the Sahara. In Mauritania, satellite images reveal the bed of an old river. One in particular, the Tamanrasset River, which stretched over 310 miles, used to flow all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. It's believed this river dried up around 5,000 years ago, leaving behind only faint traces visible from space. 
Earth has always been hit by objects from space. Most burn up in the atmosphere, but some leave lasting scars. One example is the Camel Crater in southwest Egypt, which is 148 feet wide. It was created by a powerful iron meteorite impact around 5,000 years ago. Fragments of the meteorite still lie scattered around the area. Similar craters and impact evidence can be found across the Sahara, especially in its driest and most remote parts. Once upon a time, the Sahara wasn't just rivers, it was an ocean. Believe it or not, rivers didn't just run through what is now the Sahara Desert. There used to be a massive ocean here. That's what scientists discovered when they found fossilized whale bones buried in the desert sands, and that's not all. They also uncovered huge shark teeth, along with parts of giant turtles and crocodiles, all pointing to the existence of an ancient ocean where today we see only sand. But rivers aren't the only hidden waterways beneath the endless dunes. Over thousands of years, what was once a vast ocean turned into one of the driest places on Earth. Wadi al-Hitan, Whale Valley, Egypt. In Egypt's Wadi al-Hitan, traces of the ancient Tethys Ocean have been preserved. This area is now one of the best places in the world to study prehistoric whale fossils. Around 37 million years ago, the ancestors of modern whales died in these seas, and their bodies were gradually buried under thick layers of sediment. Over time, the Earth's crust shifted, and their watery home turned into dry land. Today, paleontologists are still digging up fossilized skeletons up to 49 feet long, along with remains of other sea life. Near the whale bones, researchers even found giant shark teeth. Terrifying creatures of the ancient seas, oceans have always been home to strange and dangerous creatures. One of them was Machimosaurus rex, a 29-foot-long saltwater crocodile that lived around 120 million years ago in what is now the Sahara Desert. It's the largest saltwater croc known to science. Machimosaurus lived in a huge lake connected to the Tethys Ocean. It hunted sea turtles and fish and even fed on the carcasses of larger animals. It might seem ironic that so many marine fossils are found in the desert, but actually the Sahara's harsh climate makes it the perfect place to preserve fossils. That's why scientists are always making incredible discoveries here, often right under their feet. Speaking of amazing desert finds, we can't skip Spinosaurus, the largest carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered. It lived around 95 million years ago, stood about 23 feet tall and was 52 feet long, much bigger than the famous T-Rex. Spinosaurus didn't just look different from other dinosaurs, it had a huge sail-like structure on its back made of bone. For years, researchers were puzzled by its strange anatomy. Now it's known as the only semi-aquatic dinosaur ever discovered. Although the original fossils were lost during World War II, new fossil remains were found in Morocco in 2014, allowing scientists to study this unique creature in detail. Evidence of Spinosaurus's aquatic lifestyle includes long, flat feet for swimming and high-placed nostrils so it could breathe while almost fully submerged. That giant sail sticking out of the water probably scared ancient creatures just like a shark fin does today. On June 28, 1942, Sergeant Dennis Copping was flying a damaged Kitty Hawk P-40 fighter jet to a British base for repairs. Somewhere along the way, he vanished without a trace. Seventy years later, in 2012, an oil worker stumbled upon the plane wreckage by pure chance. Despite decades in the harsh desert, the aircraft was remarkably well preserved and was moved to the El Alamein Military Museum for restoration. But no trace of Sergeant Copping was ever found and his disappearance remains one of the Sahara's unsolved mysteries. In 1953, while searching for oil under the desert, British geologists discovered something astonishing. A massive underground aquifer, nearly 1,640 feet deep, formed over thousands of years. This reservoir could potentially provide drinking water for half a continent suffering from water shortages. It's known as the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer. In the 1970s, Libya began tapping into this underground water to supply its cities, and in 1983, Muammar Gaddafi launched a massive engineering project that became known as the Eighth Wonder of the World.
he invested $33 billion into building a vast network of pipelines and water channels connected to over 1,300 deep wells, some more than 1,500 feet deep. This system was called the Great Man-Made River. Since 1996, it provided 229 million cubic feet of water per day to cities and farming areas in the desert. Thanks to this project, agriculture started thriving in the Sahara, but the 2011 civil war destroyed much of the pipeline network, making access to this precious water much more difficult. Despite the name, the Sahara Desert isn't just endless sand. It's made up of rocky plateaus, mountains, salt flats, and even some areas with plants. About 75% is sand, but the rest includes rocks, vegetation, and occasional swamps. Historically, this region was lush and green with rich soil and plant life. Ancient rivers once sustained a stable ecosystem that supported many animal species. But over time, climate change, particularly shifts in the Earth's axis and cooling in the northern hemisphere, led to reduced rainfall, drying up rivers and turning the area into a desert. The Sahara has been hit hard by long droughts, leaving only dry rocks and sand behind. Strong winds constantly reshape the land, creating sand dunes and breaking down rocks, slowly forming new landscapes. But with constant heat and little moisture, it's unlikely the fertile lands of the past will return any time soon. It's not just rivers and lakes that disappeared beneath the desert. What used to be an ocean in places like Whale Valley is now one of the driest spots on Earth with whale skeletons buried under its sands. Countless mysteries and secrets lie hidden beneath the Sahara's surface. Lost civilizations, ancient artifacts and strange relics buried for thousands of years by ever-moving dunes. There are also natural treasures like oil, gas, minerals, uranium and gold. The Sahara is full of astonishing and unexpected discoveries. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be uncovered? Will we ever find answers to all these mysteries? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe.